What's up muscle and strength? This is Bhuvan Chauhan here, IFB Pro Men's Physique. Today, we're gonna to be cooking our breakfast. What we have here is omega-3 whole eggs. So there's a difference between uh, the regular eggs, the organic eggs, and the omega-3 eggs, these ones are just fortified with omega-3 fats. The other thing I have here is frozen blueberries. Now I like to switch between blueberries and raspberries just because they are such highly nutritious fruits that are packed with antioxidants and vitamins and minerals. And then we got the chicken breast and we have cream of rice. Now I have it in a Ziploc because when I went, when I, whenever I go to the States, I buy a bunch of cream of rice, put it in big Ziplocs and then portion it into smaller ones. So, I have all these, let's get started. We're gonna cook the chicken breast first. Now, I'm gonna be eating five ounces of chicken breast, raw weight, so that's 150, about 150 grams of chicken breast. Uh, I'm gonna measure it, cook it in the pan, and then cook the eggs, and then while we're waiting for this to cook, we're gonna be cooking the cream of rice. I'm gonna be having 100 grams of cream of rice, 105, we can take it out a little bit, and, 104, please that. Put some water in there and just pop it in the microwave for three minutes. And then we're gonna be doing our chicken breast, 150 grams. Put some oil spray in the pan and then portion out 150 grams of chicken breast. That's 156 grams, which will do. And then you're gonna use a shear, chop it nice. And then we're gonna be adding some uh, Mrs. Dash seasoning. So the Mrs. Dash seasoning is actually a salt-free seasoning. They have a bunch of flavors in it. I like the extra spicy, it just gives a little bit of flavor to my chicken in the morning. Okay, so chicken in meal one is actually not traditional. I have only started eating this probably a year, year ago. And before that I was eating egg whites or I would add a whey protein into my cream of rice. And I just feel like this is better. I just got bored of egg whites. I've been eating egg whites for almost a decade now for meal one. So to switch it up, it actually tastes really good. So if guys, if you think that chicken for meal one does not look appetizing, try it. It actually goes really well with the eggs. Chicken breast is almost done, like 90% done. In the same pan, I'm gonna cook the eggs. Now, I'm gonna show you guys a trick that I've learned to break the eggs perfectly. Actually, that didn't work. So it doesn't work on the camera for the first time, but the trick is if you drop the egg from a distance into directly to the pan, it's gonna split open and it's the easiest way to crack open an egg. So try it out, works nine out of 10 times. So this is one eighth teaspoon. I'm gonna add, this is like the hardest part of it. So I'm gonna add a little bit on my eggs and then the rest of it, one eighth. and the rest of it on my chicken. So in total, I get about one four teaspoon of the salt. So I have the cream of rice here. Now, in my off season, I actually increase my cream of rice quantity from 100 grams to even like all the way up to 140, 130 grams to increase my carbohydrate intake. Um, first thing in the morning, I want quick digesting carbs, not too quick, having like a low to moderate glycemic index, but at the same time, uh, something that I can get in my system as soon as possible. Two hours later, I'm gonna eat my meal too and go to the gym. That way I have as much glycogen as possible, as much uh, glucose as possible in my bloodstream. And uh, the more carbs I have before my workout, the more energy I have during my workout and the better I perform. Now, if that is not the case for you, if you are um, keeping your carbohydrates low or you're in prep or for whatever reason, and you still like the taste of cream of rice because uh, more than oats, what you can do is actually lower the quantity of cream of rice to 60, 70 grams and add a scoop or two of daily cleanse. This is a fiber supplement that I use um, for, with my last meal of the day instead of the first meal. 
because if I use it with my first meal, the fiber is gonna slow down the rate of digestion of these carbs. So I like to use this in my last meal in off season. So I'll add this into my cream of rice for my last meal and that hits my fiber intake for the day. And all right, so we have the eggs ready and then we got the chicken. And then I'm gonna be adding 70 grams of blueberries into it, which is about 10 grams of carbs. And to flavor my cream of rice, I like to add some cinnamon. Now cinnamon has a lot of benefits, anti-inflammatory, brings your fasted glucose down, just a ton of antioxidants and health benefits. So I'll add some cinnamon and then to sweeten it, I like to add the Splenda Stevia or you can use Truvia. And I would just add like maybe about half a tablespoon to one teaspoon to sweeten it. And then I just mix it. And because we are still not on prep, hardcore enough, we can use a little bit of ketchup. So I use the no sugar added ketchup, which is one gram of carbohydrate for one tablespoon. So we'll add one tablespoon of the ketchup for the eggs. And there you have it, breakfast of champions. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe to the channel Muscle and Strength. My name is Boo and Chahan. You guys can find me on YouTube and Instagram. Until next time.